It's Kathy Zilski. Welcome to my YouTube channel. From time to time, I'm going to share little digital tips that will help you when you are working either with design or type or Photoshop or whatever. And today I want to talk about extra wonderful characters that come with certain fonts and how you can actually access them if you don't have full Photoshop. My tip today is specifically designed for Mac users. Now I recently bought this gorgeous new font called Heritage. Well, I don't know if it's gorgeous, but I absolutely love the font. It has wonderful stylistic alternates built right into the font. They're not separate. They are all part of the same font. And that's really great if you have full Photoshop. Now I'm gonna pull up full Photoshop here really quick and show you what I mean. Here is one big word in Heritage. Now if I click over here on my type tool and click in, there's a great panel in full Photoshop that's called glyphs. When we click on glyphs, you can go up or down in size. You can click here, there's alternates for selection, but I always just keep it on entire font because it will show you not just the basic characters, but all of the additional options. So you can highlight your Y and you can, well, actually I could go here and go, let's go. Alternates for selection. All right, it's not showing me that. So I go all font and then I can come down here and I can double click, click away. Look at that gorgeous Y. See what I mean? Highlight that. Again, there's, there's other Ys here. I could come down and I could do this Y that goes over the top or I could highlight this and come down and do, where's the, where's the other last Y here? This is my favorite Y, and actually that's going off the page right now, but you have access to all these wonderful characters. Same thing with the S, you can see if there's any alternate S's. I don't know, I think there's at least one. Oh sure, see that? Alternate characters that you paid for, easily accessed in full Photoshop. But what happens if you have Photoshop elements? It's a good question, right? Here I am in Photoshop Elements 15, and I don't have a glyphs palette because the glyphs palette is just not part of this software. So how do you get to the glyphs if you are a Mac user? Well, it's pretty easy. If I go up to my little search window, I'm going to search for the font book application. I'm gonna open this up, and this is the basic application that comes with the Mac software that helps you add fonts to your system. I'm gonna search for the font in question, which is Heritage, and we're gonna wait and see how long it takes my system to find this because right now my computer is behaving much like a middle-aged woman who doesn't want to, there we go. I was gonna say who doesn't wanna work out. Not that I would know that person. Now here we go. You see the font? What you wanna do is click on the second little icon and as soon as you do, you are going to see every single option, not just the basic letters, but the single characters and all additional swatches and flourishes and alternates. And this is helpful, of course, because let's say you want to put that fancy stuff in. And let's say you like this S. Click on the S. Command or Control. Actually, no, not Control, because we're all Mac here. Command C to copy. Come back into your document. Get your type tool. Highlight that letter. And Command V to paste and there you have access to the glyph. Go back to the program, let's go back to font book and just keep scrolling down. So each one of these alternate swashy awesome letters is available to you through font book. Click on it, command C to copy, come back to your document, highlight the letter that you wanna change, here it's the Y and command V and there you get the extra swash. It took me a while to find this, guys, and that's why I decided to make a quick video because I found it, there's a lot of options for PC users, but I didn't see a lot of stuff on YouTube for Mac users. So now I'm gonna go back to Fontbook, I'm gonna find the Y that I really love. And it, there are so many great, simple characters that come with this font. And this font is like 15, 14, 15 dollars. Best money I ever spent. I really love it. This is my favorite Y. I absolutely love it. Command C, come back in here, highlight that Y and Command V, check mark, and now you can see access to the alternates. There are so many alternates that come with this font and there are a lot of fonts out there like that that it can be really fun to play, create yourself a little sample sheet, and really explore how much you can do with a single font that comes with 
a bevy of alternate selections. Hope this has been helpful today. Thanks for watching, and if you feel like it, subscribe to my channel. You never know what you might see. Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe to my channel and check out more videos in the center. To see more from me, visit my website today. Thanks everyone and have a great day.